Tuesday that feels like a Monday. We get a lot of news, obviously. President Obama puts the Syria decision to Congress. Key members of Senate are going to make their case. Secretary of State John Kerry and Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel. I should have said key members of the president's cabinet. The authorization that President Obama seeks is definitively in our national security interest. When someone kills hundreds of children with a weapon the world has banned, we are all responsible. The United States must demonstrate through our actions that the use of chemical weapons is unacceptable. Acceptable. Having American boots on the ground, is that something that the administration would accept? I don't want to take off the table an option that might or might not be available. I don't think there are any of us here that are willing to support the possibility of having combat boots on the ground. Let's shut that door now as tight as we can. There will not be American boots on the ground with respect to the Civil War. U.S. Act now! Hey! President Obama has really backed America into a corner. I'm going to support the president's call for action. Is there a lack of leadership? We will be much more effective if we take action as one nation. The majority of the American people want him to consult with Congress first, so there's also that. He has put himself, shall we say, in a pickle. We have sent up a draft authorization. We're going to be asking for hearings and a prompt vote. I don't think he's concerned about the Constitution. I think he's concerned about domestic politics at home. You cannot blame members of Congress for not knowing what exactly is going on. I blame a lot of people for talking about this who don't know what's going on. Frankly, it's crazy. Mr. President, clear the air. This is not Iraq and this is not Afghanistan. I sometimes think that the entire U.S. government consists of people who have a serious problem with attention deficit disorder. There you go. All right.